we've just launched four sustainability priorities for Syngenta Group. And Petra, one of those is sustainable operations. So tell me a bit, what is this about? Our sustainable operations priority has three pillars. One of them is reducing the impact of our operations and of our supply chain on the environment. And we have set ourselves an ambitious target of reducing emissions by 38% by 2030. The second is to strengthen our diverse culture. And the third, of course, is to protect the health and safety of our people. Our implementation plans for 2024 are ready, so let's go! I'm so pleased that we're here in Monte, in the beautiful Valais of Switzerland, and we want to learn about sustainable operations here at the site. I know the site is super important because it produces key patented protective ethic ingredient, but you know much more about it, so let's take a look and maybe you explain us a bit. Yes, great to welcome you here. The site actually has a history of over 125 years. So it started as a sugar factory through pigments and now crop protection products you see today. The thing that is fascinating is the location of this site was actually chosen because it had access to hydroelectric power from the Viez River. It was close to the salt mines and it also was close to transport links and water from the Rhone River. So it's one of our key strategic sites, especially for innovation today. We have 900 employees that make out key intermediates and also over 15 active ingredients. Um, the other key role of Monte is really industrializing our new product pipeline. And more and more, as you know, we now design sustainability into our new products. So a recent example is Timerium. So for me, the site has had a very long track record of driving actions to improve how we do our processes, consume less energy and also to reduce waste. So they have a clear roadmap and luckily we have an opportunity today to see some of the actions that they've taken. So welcome again. Thank you. So let's take a practical look how we make our operations more sustainable. Yes. We've been reducing our scope 1 and scope 2 carbon footprint for 33% already since 2016. And we have the global renewable energy policy. Here in Monte, we use a lot of hydropower for our electricity demand. What else, Anja? Yeah, so we are just in front of our central vent incineration unit called Stratopair. So in the past, we used to uh, burn the off gases at each individual building. Now we have combined it in one uh, central unit, which already helps us to reduce the fuel amount to incinerate the gases by 50%. And in the next phase, we will integrate even more into this unit, so we will be able to reduce even more here on site. What That's is? really lovely. And I'm sure Monte has more to see. Yes, so let's, let's go. take a look. Now we talk with Rachel about sustainable steam production. Steam brings the heat required for the chemical synthesis. Rachel, I understand steam on the site comes from three sources. One is state-of-the-art metal gas boilers. Second is incineration of our chemical waste. And the third, more of half, comes through this magnificent pipe in the back of us. Can you tell us more? Yes. So this EcoTube project was a, is a great example of where we work with the local community. So Satam is the local incineration company. When they burn the waste from all the households in the area, they take the heat from that and convert demineralized water into high pressure steam. It then travels along this huge pipe, three kilometers long, and we can use it in the site. This is good for us because we, can, we produce less steam ourselves on site and use less natural gas. It's good for Saturn because they can then have a very highly efficient thermal recovery unit in their plant. So it's just one example of where we work with third parties and our suppliers to reduce scope two emissions here but we also have lots of suppliers across the globe where we also work to reduce our scope three emissions. So again, a little piece of a puzzle. Fantastic. Yeah, Alexandra, so now we are in another building and uh, we have one more example for decarbonization at Monte's side. So decarbonization uh, is not uh, really well done in isolation. It cannot be done. Uh, so we are working very closely with the Partners Network here on site. And we are also super proud that a lot of the continuous improvement initiatives actually come from our employees here on site. So this little pipe here 
is one example. It feeds in uh, used methanol we need for our processes at a solvent. But instead of buying new methanol, we use uh, the recycled one, which we buy from uh, partners that we have on site, actually. It's a very important example uh, for us here. I really like that. Through this pipe run 800,000 liters of methanol, yes. and we save 400 tons of CO2 equivalents with yes. that which is yes. kind of close to having a hundred cars less on the street comparably. Exactly. So very small pipe. No? Yes, exactly. Small pipe, big effect. I really like yes. it. Thanks. Today, we could really see how sustainability is at the heart of everything we do at Syngenta. We are a true global industry leader. And I was really proud of the commitment of the whole team. I agree, and the exciting thing is that there is much more what Syngenta does. And so stay tuned to take a look when we showcase more examples how we make ourselves and agriculture more sustainable.